So for the record, can y'all both say and spell your first and last name, please? Uh, Makita, M-A-K-I-T-A Wells, W-E-L-L-S, Hartford, H-A-R-T-F-O-R-D. And you, sir? Kevin, K-E-V-I-N, Hartford, H-A-R-T-F-O-R-D. And you are the parents? Yes. So tell me a little bit about Kiran. What was he like? Twitter was a jokester. He was a phenomenal athlete. Um, he played baseball and football um, for Edna Carr, and he also played for some travel teams. Uh, he was just a good person, a good-hearted person. Uh, he would give you the shoes off his back, the shirt off his he, oh, We always got into it about him giving my stuff away that I purchased brand new stuff. It's like I bought things for the team, not just for Tootie. And, and he loved it. You know, I gave him that big heart, you know, of giving and love of people. And, you know, and I just think that the community is going to miss him. I didn't realize the impact that Tootie had on so many people. He's been playing ball in the city for, you know, since the age of five. So he's played against hundreds of kids and with hundreds of kids. And so to hear the parents calling and, you know, just expressing their condolences and telling me about the kids and how the kids are feeling. So it's just not the kids at car that's affected. You know, he's played with kids from all different schools. So you, kids at all schools are, are going through it, you know, and may need, you know, counseling or to talk to somebody because it's not just a car issue, it's a New Orleans issue. And it's a New Orleans problem. We have to find a way for these kids to find a better way to, get out their frustration and anger other than murder because it's not one person that you're harming you hurt a community you know you hurt you know you you hurt so many people and you you, you fractured and shattered our lives how have you been going like deal feeling lately um i have my moments i have my days um, this morning I went to Edna Carr and I spoke with the football and the baseball team because I heard that they were really having a hard time dealing with um, Tudor's passing and it was good for me. It was very therapeutic um, to see them and it was therapeutic for them to see me because it's, they saw me, you know, although I'm hurt behind, you know, the senseless murder of my son. I'm also was able to give them encouragement, you know, and tell them, you know, like, I want to see everything you're doing in life. When you see me 30 years from now, I want you to stop me no matter where I am in the store. You know, I want to know about your family, your kids, and how you're doing in life and college adventures. And I told them, I'm going to be at every game, every baseball game, every football game, cheering, hollering, screaming, like I've done, you know, for years. You know, this was my third car student, you know, um, uh, Tootie was my baby, so I've had two car graduates, so he would have been the third one. So I've been very instrumental at car, and I know a lot of people and kids. So I just wanted to reach out and let the kids know, and just having them hug me, you know, just the hugs. And you don't realize how articulate and spiritual these kids are. You know, they were motivating me. You know, when I'm trying to motivate them, you know, and just telling me it's going to be okay and we're going to be okay and we're going to get through this. It was never, you know, you okay. You know, they made it possessive. It was a we thing. So I'm going to, it's going to be hard. You know, it's each day goes by, it may get a little harder. Like this is the second that we've had this week in our family. My husband's mom passed Saturday and then Tootie was murdered on Wednesday. So it has been a very trying week for us so this weekend we have to drive to Georgia to bury his mother you know and then I have to come back and bury my baby so I just need prayers I need prayers and I just need the community to know that we as a community have to stand up against these things if you know something if you saw something you have to say something because if it was your kid or your mother or your child you will want somebody to say something and if you allow and you know of the person and the whereabouts of the person that murdered my baby and you are hiding him or hindering his prosecution you are just as guilty and you deserve just the same crime punishment as him and what have police said about, you know, the crime? Have they given you any details? Well, I, I've spoken with the detectives and they do have a, um, a lead. Um, they're waiting for, they're in the process of, 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 you know, getting the warrant to get the arrest done. But they know who it is. Everybody knows who, who it is. Um, you know, I don't want to say the name out until, you know, um, 
the detectives, you know, make mention of it or do their interview, what they're going to do. But it, it was senseless. It made no sense. You had no reason. You know, you had no reason to murder my baby. You sit at my table. You know, you, you know, I fed you. I paid budgets. Like, what was your reason? So this is somebody who was friends with your son? Yes. And they haven't provided a motive as to why? And I guess if you could say something to Tootie, what would you want to say to him right now? You know, as he was transitioning, um, I know he was a fighter. He was a fighter because even in the hospital they said he should have never made it off the scene. He should have been dead on the scene when they pulled him out of his vehicle. And the fact that he stayed, he was breathing on his own. And the fact that when he got to the hospital, he was still breathing on his own. You know, I'm um, 30 something minutes, you know, after the time he was shot in the head. Um, but I would tell him, like I told him, you know, when he was transitioning, mama's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. You know, I just want him to rest and I promise him that his legacy will always live on. And what is his legacy? His legacy is, Kiran has a son on the way. He has a son on the way. She's seven months pregnant. She's not doing too well, but I have her. And so, you know, although they took my baby, you know, Tootie brought me a daughter and he brought me a, a grandson. So his legacy will live on through Caden. Thank you so much. Anything else? No. I'm so sorry.